This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air as local news begins in much of the east and across the country at this hour. We do have new reporting on this shooting at the end of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory celebration this afternoon. A crowd of about one million people had turned out for the event. The shots were fired west of Union Station near the parking garage as the rally was ending. Initial reports had come in that multiple people had been shot. We have just learned a Kansas City fire official now saying eight to ten people involved unclear for a time if those people were actually shot or the extent of their injuries. But I want to bring in our senior investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky, because Aaron, we're learning preliminary reports now that this is even more serious from the Kansas City Fire Department. It could well be. And police had said initially, David, that multiple people were shot and they had taken two armed people into custody for questioning as part of the investigation. We're learning from Kansas City Fire now, and this is preliminary information and subject to change. But Kansas City Fire is telling ABC News one person is dead, nine others are injured for a total of 10 people uh, that apparently have been shot. We're still assessing whether all of them were shot or whether they were injured in some other way. But one dead, nine injured, and among the, the injured, uh, five are said to be uh, serious injuries and three critical. And again, that information just coming in from Kansas City Fire? From Kansas City Fire and its preliminary information as we learn, work to learn more. But Kansas City Police had been on scene in force for this victory parade for the Kansas City Chiefs as they celebrated their Super Bowl. They were on scene and were able to take two armed people into custody very quickly right after these uh, shots were fired near Union Station, the historic century-old train station in Kansas City. Uh, and now, according to Kansas City Fire, preliminarily, uh, one person dead, nine others injured. And of course, uh, far too soon to say whether this was at all connected to the celebration itself or whether this was other activity among other people at the tail end of this. That's right. One of the key questions will be, was this somehow uh, due to an agenda, a political or social agenda, or was this the result of some kind of criminal activity, and that may be where police are leaning at this point, but they haven't said for sure. But David, how many times in advance of big mass gatherings like this have you and I talked about what the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI has said that given the environment in the country right now, the potential for something uh, has always been there, but police in Kansas City have not said why these shots were fired just yet. Stick with us here. Our investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky, the moment you have more there, Aaron, just flag me here. In the meantime, uh, you could actually hear the gunfire, see the crowd suddenly rushing for safety uh, during this uh, moment of gunfire. You're going to see images now from our ABC affiliate, KNBC. Take a look. Hear the gnat sound there uh, of the gunfire as it was erupting, uh, the crowd uh, moving to get out of the area. The Kansas City Chiefs were actually being escorted off the stage when those shots were fired. Uh, people obviously had already begun to head home. Police say several victims again struck. Uh, initial reports, eight to ten injured, and as Aaron Katursky just reported, a preliminary report coming in from Kansas City Fire that uh, up to one person uh, could be dead from this. And of course, uh, these are early details coming in from the fire department. We will have much more as the afternoon progresses here. Authorities say two people have been taken into custody. Both were armed. I want to bring in Alex Perez, who was on the scene to report on the parade itself, the welcome home party for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and now, of course, this. Alex, can you describe the scene for us? Well, David, it started as a joyous celebration and ended in tragedy. There were literally thousands of people in this field behind me here. Those three arches you can see there uh, over my shoulder, that's Union Station. The stage was set up right in front of Union Station. The players were addressing the crowd from that stage. The event, the rally, had just ended. It was wrapping up. The players were starting to make their way off of the stage, and that's when that gunfire erupted. And, David, as you might imagine, when there are thousands of people in a crowd close together and they hear gunfire immediately there's panic and there's chaos and there were hundreds of people that we saw running out of the area trying to get somewhere safe uh, we understand from the kansas city police department this is still an active situation they're trying to figure out uh, what exactly unfolded here just a few seconds ago david we saw what looked like uh, a swat team sort of run into the garage uh, building that is behind Union Station. Uh, so authorities are still working to figure out 
what exactly happened here. Now, when that gunfire erupted, when the crowd began to rush out of the area, we immediately began to hear sirens. We heard ambulance sirens. We heard police, uh, law enforcement sirens. And those officers, those members of law enforcement began to immediately flood the area. David, we know uh, from the mayor here that there were already 600 police officers deployed to the parade routes and to watch the area. They were working with 24 different law enforcement agencies and of course their federal partners as well to make sure that this was a safe event and it appeared to be safe up until the very end and as we know now david as aaron reported there uh at least one dead and eight to ten injured here on the scene david and while the crowd has dispersed still a number of police officers uh remain on the scene uh trying to assess what's going on and we even still see some ambulances here on the scene david of course we uh, again uh, i can't underscore enough that those preliminary details coming in from kansas city fire at this point involving the number of people uh, potentially shot here alex perez describing the scene for us, Alex, our thanks to you. Uh, we're told at this hour that a White House official telling ABC News they are closely monitoring the shooting, of course, uh, at the end of the Super Bowl parade. Federal law enforcement officials are on the scene to aid local officials there, something uh, that Aaron had told us earlier and, in fact, likely in place just because of the size and scope of this event. Uh, you can see the pictures there of the crowd. These were the pictures coming in from KNBC, our ABC station, uh, moments after the gunfire. You can see the sheer size of the crowd that had gathered uh, for the Super Bowl champs. I want to bring in uh, one last person here before we turn you over to your local news here in the East and then the rest of the country. Of course, we'll have more uh, coming up here on World News Tonight. Pierre Thomas is our chief justice correspondent. Pierre, what are you learning from federal sources at this hour? Well, I spoke to a key federal source, David, who said there is no information so far coming from the scene suggesting terrorism or some kind of uh, act that it may again may early in the investigation appear to be something criminal david uh, typically in a situation like this you will have law enforcement at the federal level get a quick sense if there's anything suggesting terrorism or some kind of political event uh, obviously the source said they're just very concerned that guns are so ubiquitous so anytime you have a crowd that loud uh, large and loud you could have a situation like this, David. Uh, the Justice Department, White House, uh, ATF, other agencies trying to get information from the scene because they need to make sure that this was a contained event. Obviously, very concerned either way, David. Pierre Thomas, our thanks to you again. Multiple people shot at the tail end of the Super Bowl victory celebration in Kansas City. The Kansas City Chiefs were just being escorted off the stage. This was uh, west of Union Station near a parking garage there. Unclear if it was connected in any way to the celebration, the rally itself. But obviously, uh, federal and local authorities uh, were concerned given the sheer size of this crowd that had gathered uh, and the security threat uh, in this country, the heightened uh, temperature, if you will, across this nation. Our team is going to continue to work this. I know for many of you, your local news teams are standing by. Our coverage will continue. ABC News Live, abcnews.com, and I'll be back with the entire team for World News Tonight just a short time from now. I'm David Muir in New York. We'll see you then. Good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.